Dirich. So here we are and we're going to learn wishing, okay? Now, the cool news is that we're going to learn harp one wishing, to be more precise. And the cool news about this is that it is simply twinkle, twinkle, little star, but starting on a different note and with a slightly different rhythm, okay? So first of all, we're going to prepare our harp. Now, this is in the key of G major, which means that you should have an F sharp. So normally we would get our tuning key and we would tune this F string and the other F strings to F sharp. But what's cool about this tune is that it doesn't use an F sharp. So basically, if you want to leave it untuned, it's okay. It's crack. Okay. To particularly if you're practicing. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put our right hand two on our G and we're going to just play twinkle starting on G. So we're going to go G, G. Then we're going to put two on D, D, D. Then we're going to put two on E, E, E. Then we're going to put two on D, D. Then two on C, C, C. Two on B, B, B. Two on A, A, A. Two on G, G. Two on D, D, D. Now C, C, C. Now B, B, B. Now two on A. Now back up to D, D, D. Now two on C, C. C, now two on B, 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 now two on A, A, now two on G, 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 two on D, 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 two on E, 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 two on D, D, now two on C, 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 two on B, 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 two on A, 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 and two on G, G. So you might notice that the rhythm I was doing was a tiny bit different, and that's because it's in three. So what's going to happen is it's going to go one, two, three, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, long, short, etc. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try doing the right notes and the right rhythm and I'm going to shout out the notes in time, okay? So here goes, two in your G, aim do tree. So hopefully you got on okay there. If you didn't, press stop, rewind, and do that until you're confident, okay? Now, so you've gotten to the phase where you're confident, it's time to introduce the dynamics. You probably noticed that I was doing a loud and a soft every so often when I was singing along with the notes. Now we're going to formally learn that and do that from now on, okay? So in uh, before we start, I'll give you a couple of hints, okay? So the music term for quiet is piano which is the Italian word for quiet and then the musical term for getting louder is a crescendo and then the musical term for forte is for sorry for loud is forte and then the musical term for getting quieter is decrescendo right so every so often you have some variations on that you'll have medium quiet which would be mezzo piano and you'll have medium loud which would be mezzo forte now sometimes you have extremes so you're going to have ppp which would be pianissimo which is extremely quiet and sometimes you have ff or fff which is fortissimo and that means very 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 loud okay so we're going to also learn one more word which is ritardando which means to slow down and that happens in this piece as well so now that we have the vocabulary covered let's start so your first note your g is piano your D begins to get louder. Crescendo. Your E is loud. Mezzo forte, medium loud. Mezzo forte. And then your D begins to get quiet. D crescendo. Then your C is piano. Piano, piano. And then on your, you continue that with your BB as you heard. And then on the A, you begin to get quieter. You have a tiny little swell and then a, a retraction. A, A. And then you finish on a G quietly. So it's a lot to take in, so let's try that phrase. Ready, go. Piano, piano, 
Yeah. No. So it's hard to swell on a harp, but when you hear the whole arrangement, you'll understand how it works. So then we're going to try our next phrase. So the cool news is it's a lot simpler. You just do forte. Forte, 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 forte. And you do piano. Piano, 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 piano. And then you're going to have your next phrase. So you start off with mezzo piano, medium quiet. Mezzo piano, then you have a crescendo for the next four notes, so you get louder. Uh, crescendo, and then by the time you hit the E, you're forte. Forte, 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 forte. And on the A, you begin to decrescendo. Decrescendo. So by the time you get to G, you're piano again. G. So let's try that phrase. Ready, go. Mezzo. Piano crescendo, forte, 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 crescendo, piano. It's catching me out too. So you play this piece twice. Um, the first time, let's try it all together, okay, with all of our dynamics. A note, three, piano, crescendo, metal forte, And swell. Forte, 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 forte. Piano, 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 forte. Forte, crescendo, piano. So the next time you play it. It's a bit more extreme, which is great because it's easier to remember. So the first uh, two phrases are played P P P pianissimo, extremely quiet. Here goes. And then when you get to the A, it begins to crescendo and it gets a bit slower. Crescendo and slow. Now you're going to go up to your D and you do forte forte, which is uh, very loud. Forte, 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 And now we have our next phrase, which is piano to start with. Piano, piano. And on the E, you begin to start a crescendo, which is very slow and gradual and it brings to the end. So here goes. Crescendo, crescendo. And when you get to the B, it begins to slow down as well. Crash, ritardando, crescendo and ritardando. Finish on a G that's very loud and very slow. Okay, so that's how the second time works. So how about we play the second time now? And Get louder and slower here. Forte, 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 forte. Forte, 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 forte. Do you crescendo there? Piano, piano. Start a slow crescendo, crescendo, crescendo. And get slower, crescendo. And finish on your G. And then the orchestra plays another eight bars. I warn you, I played an extra note there by accident on the D. So just remember that it's a lot to take in. But if you get the notes right and you get the rhythm right and then you consistently practice the pianos and the fortes, it will come. So now I'm going to try it with the orchestra. It's going to be really cool hearing how they fill it in and how the other instruments can add to the swelling and the, the I suppose, the me. Um, so here it goes. Okay, so there's eight bars of silence first. There's a third bar, fourth bar, fifth bar, sixth bar, seventh bar. Now get ready, go. <gasps> Crescendo, metal forte, decrescendo, piano, piano, swelling slightly, piano, 
louder mezzo piano crescendo forte 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 ti crescendo una pianissima And one return to forte, 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 Crescendo, crescendo, get slow, RG. And watch your conductor there when you're listening to the fine late bars because it will look terrible if everybody's not together. Bye.